All right. Today we are going to work on the groomer attachments on these cutting units. I did another tutorial <clears throat> on how to change the belts on them. And um, there's not too much, too many videos on these units that have these groomer attachments on them. So I wanted to do one. Uh, this is basically what we're looking at here. All right, that is the unit. And this is the groomer attachment here. Now, the way that they go up and down, you have a knob over here, and you also have this little lever. Now, by pushing this lever down, it would drop this groomer down, down to the ground. And then, if you don't want to use them, you would take the lever and flip it back up to where it is now. And there is one on each side. Now, in order for this to work properly, it's got to be adjusted properly. That's what we're doing here. So I have this one here sitting upright. Now basically what you want to do, and I pretty much got this one tuned in already, is get yourself, you don't necessarily need a gauge, you just need something that's flat and level. You want to rest it on a bed knife and rest it on the roller. And the idea is to get that groomer just pretty much level with this bar when it's dropped down. Now this is in the up position. So we're gonna go ahead and drop it down. Okay. And let's drop the other one down as well. Ah. All right, so that pretty much drops it down. Now when you put your level back on, Okay, so see, you really want to get that groomer to almost touch this level here so that it's just a tad bit even, if not a tad bit lower than this main roller, so that it's actually touching the turf. So in order to do that, it's really hard with two hands, so this you need to pull up on, and you can turn this up or down. Now in this case, we needed this to come closer to our level. So we want to pull this and turn it so that this, probably can't see it because I'm moving the camera, but it is coming down. Take our level and let's see how close we are now. Well, it's got to come a little bit more. So we're going to pull up and turn. All right, let's check it now. That was a lot of turns. Yeah, see now it's hitting and I'm not resting on the top roller, so that's too much. We need to back that off a little bit. All right, so we wanna pull up and go the opposite way. Back it down, check it again. And we're still off of that top roller because now it's hitting the groomer. We gotta take it in even more. Okay, there we go. So that's just touching the level and it's also on the groomer. All right, so now when this, this spins, you would just be skimming the turf with that groomer as well. So. What I like to do is take it just a tad more now, lower, so that it's just sticking past the roller a little bit. And that'll be good there. As you can see that that would dig into that level if that groomer turned. Let's see if I can turn that a little bit straighter here. Right there. Let's put our level up here. Where are we here? All right. So that would be a good spot to start. Um, and then you would adjust it from there. Once you get it fine tuned in, 
to a nice comfortable level. You can adjust it. Everyone's going to have a different comfort zone with it. Um, but get it there, get it level with this, and then maybe drop it a notch lower so it's just skimming past this front roller. And try that and see uh, if that works for you, and then you can make your other adjustments from there. Is when you adjust this side, you're going to have to come back here and do the same thing to this side. Because that side over there only adjusts that side. This side is going to drop this side down. And it'd probably be good to not crank that side 30 times and then come over here to crank this 30 times. I would do that five times down. If you're going down, and then come to this side and go five times down. This way you're bringing this whole thing down level at once. Because it can really mess you up if you don't do it that way. Alright, hope that makes sense. Hope that helps. That's just the way that I do it. Remember, everybody else has their own technique. And I'll see you next time on what to do.